Hello guys, today we're gonna do something special. Now we have here an indie game called Don't Disturb. It is made by an indie team in Taiwan and its Chinese name is Bu Xianggu. Now if you own this game and if you speak Chinese, I definitely recommend you to play this in Chinese, but for the sake of this playthrough, let's do this in English. Plus I am dead curious as to how is how some of this stuff is being translated. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Now this game has a very unique art style. That is probably the biggest attraction. So you can see this is somebody's funeral. Somebody died in the family. And this is not really a spoiler, it's the grandmother in the story. Yep, there she is. And we have our protagonist, this little puppy who's really sad that Granny is gone. Oh, that's heartbreaking. But, but something caught his attention. What is that? Could it be Granny? Could she be alive? And I guess this is our equivalent of a montage. I really do love how this game looks and sounds. And without further explanation, it appears we have crossed over. And I guess this is tutorial. Yes, I know how to press left and right. Thanks, game. I'm not stupid. Curious. Oh, and this is our little menu. That's cute. I mean, Almost like it's a real game. I mean, it is a real game, but it's not in the conventional sense. Is this Granny? Grandma? She's not tasty at all. But you seem tasty enough. You seem to. Oh shit! He's the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah, that's right. Of course. Press space can get some information. Well, thanks, birdie. Or is it? Is it even the birdie that's speaking? I don't really know. Reincarnation. That's right. This is the reincarnation station, supposedly in the afterlife. Now, the gate of hell. Ten people left. Nine returned. What? You know, this is why you should probably play this in Chinese if if you know if you speak the language. Otherwise, well, it will do. Otherwise, it's, it doesn't make that much sense. Now, in the in the Chinese culture, of course, people believe in reincarnation. And supposedly, if you die, you go through this place, and then you get a clean slate to return as another person, or some culture believe it, another something, depending on how well you did in this lifetime. Now, personally, I don't really believe that is going to be the case, because if reincarnation is true, we wouldn't have a fucking overpopulation problem, but <clears throat> here we go. Hey, buddy, you look lively. What are you doing here? I seriously don't know what I'm doing here. You are not allowed to pass without a permit. It's a yellow piece of paper with the seal of the king of hell. Oh my god, Crowley. King of Hell himself, go back to where you belong. If only it's that simple. What is this? Bikini promotion? Top star is only in something. Netherworld daily. Oh, that is cute. Reincarnation queue. Strictly no crying. Why? 
What do these people have against the crying? Crying is healthy. It's catharsis. Oh no, kids! Come on, have a heart. Could family still be family in the afterlife? Not if you're reincarnated, no. I hope my descendants will burn paper money and iPhone 9 to me. Well, that's probably not how it works, because I don't think <laughs> I don't see that happening, dude. Sorry. I mean. The, the, the latest design of iPhone 8, I don't even want to buy. What is there to be scared of, newbie? Well, take her pick. All dead should go past here and seek their afterlife in Netherworld. I take my job seriously and will not just let anyone come and go. Show me your permit. Oh, I don't have a permit, Dane. Oh no, I don't have a permit! You and me both, buddy. So, to go through this part, yes, we need a permit with yellow paper with red seals. That's what we need. Oh hey, look at this, a uh, yellow paper. Just lying on the floor. And... We can get some blood. Yes, this will do nicely. These idiots, they will never be able to tell. What is this? Why are there dog prints? Don't think you can deceive me. Curses! My plan is thwarted. Oh, look at that guy. Wow, super lucky! Yeah, you get a die. Lucky you. What is going on? Alright, appears we have a Another art style. This is most curious. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I'm going to the light. And that birdie is sure as hell following us. In the way to the netherworld. Only flowers bloom along the... Stop talking so fast! I know you're a bird. Lightning, lightning, did you see the lightning? No, I did not see Cars 3, I plan to. Just not a, just not a cinema, I'm sorry, Cars 2 really burned me. How could you do this to me, Pixar? He's not as big as you, he's just a chihuahua. Aww, guys lost the dog. We were on the bus together and suddenly I heard a burst of horn. After that, together we passed through the gate of hell. Then we saw a group of starving ghosts took the lightning away. So lightning is a dog. Alright. Did you see him? Nope. But I but if I do, I will holler. Oh, this is a very well hidden place. A gold coin. We actually have collectibles in this game. And what the hell is this? Hey, are you lost, dear puppy? Hmm, the smell. Smells like someone who just passed by. <gasps> Granny! Now pay some attention to the writing on the wall. 6A4, that's going to be useful. And it says reincarnation again. No human for the day. Get to the world the second day. Overlook the homeland and the beloved ones the day after. With tears and sorrow rolling down the face. Because the bird talks so fast, I just rushed through it. Sorry. He's actually talking really slowly this time. This bird is awfully inconsistent. In the past a thousand years, so many have arrived to have their last glance of home. Really? If you want to move on and upwards, there's a 500 year wait for your turn. Well, fuck that! Don't hurry, it will be your turn soon. You have a very broad definition for soon, my good sir. That will not do. A, a dog's lifespan isn't as long as humans, so I'd imagine a death span goes by the same rules. Going through Netherworld without having to stop here, I'd expect to move on. By moving on, maybe? Hey, hello, lady. 
By getting to the top of the observatory, you will be able to overlook your homeland. That is just creepy. There's no way to see your loved ones after this, so don't waste the chance to have a good cry. Don't you think so? On the top, you can see the five continents and four great seas. I might, I might as well just don't ever come down. I will be the watcher. That's right. I will be Stan Lee. A ticket only costs ten years of living. Nope, that is a big fucking nope. I'm a fucking dog, dude. I I I ain't got that lifespan. I ain't got that ten years to waste, man. That that is like the the bulk of my lifetime. Be aware of your step. There is no way to survive if you fall. The observatory is not responsible for your personal safety. <sighs> This is why I hate to travel. Oh, by the way, maybe there are. Shut up. Maybe there are coins. You know, these coins are not just collectibles. We actually need them. Yep, three out of ten. That's not bad. So from here we get to the elevator part. And that's the fourth coin. Oh, that's how it works, huh? Elevator. That's how you want to play. Well, I'm game. This can touch the. Edge of this, you know, this game is definitely within the grasp of my paws. I'm sorry, just desperate for a dog pun. I'm going to regret saying that for the rest of my life. And here we are in the elevator. Let's see. Oh, we get the.、Uh, The first floor, which is like, which I guess is where we are, the、uh, basement one, and negative eighteen. If you don't know that, which represents the、uh, deepest level, the most evil, abominable level in the Eastern culture of hell. And there's three one six. I'm not sure what that is, but let's check it out. Oh, hi. This is the observatory place, I guess. There is debt to be repaid and love to feel. All will be settled in front of the reincarnation stone. The reincarnation stone. That sounds like a deathly hallow. My past life is just a little Pomeranian. I don't even. I don't even know what that means, man. The reincarnation stone allows you to see the past, present, and the future. So what is it? A crystal ball? Come on. I hope to be an oil tycoon in my next life, dude. This is why you will never be rich. You don't see, you don't see the future, man. You still want to be oil tycoon, but when you get reincarnated and grow up again, there's no way we're not using some kind of new energy. Otherwise, I guess the human race is doomed. Also, take note that there the writings on the wall again. I this is one B six, and it's going to be useful. Seriously, I already forgot what. The original one was. Oh, this one is now translated. Basically, it says, "Shh, be quiet. I got great stuff. Don't tell the." Oh, okay, that's the translation. Yep, we got contraband even in hell. I lost faith in humanity. Bring me money, and I will show you. You realize you're talking to a dog, right? A dog who's got five out of ten gold coins, but still. And what do we have here? I guess this is our family. And there we go, eight three six three. That is also important. Eight. Fuck. Eight three six three. I should probably write it down somewhere, but I don't have a pen and pencil. All right,、uh, let's go to the、uh, right. We got a bunch of demons or ghouls or 
boogeyman or whatever the fuck they are. They're playing poker. How nice. And we got two more gold coins. Why only one card I haven't get? Oh look. Ouch! Who stepped in my hair? Uh I don't know. Don't look at me. Aha! So right here we gotta give it the combination and that is the number we have just observed. Yes. What was it? Was it another gold coin? I think it might be. Quite underwhelming, isn't it? Anyway, let's go to the most evil place possible. Let's see the true incarnation of hell. And it looks alright, actually. Oops. I spoke that too soon. Mike, 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 Mike. I'm starving. Oh, there, there's the Chihuahua. Hello, Lightning. Uh, I met your master a little while back, but I'm coming back for you. Don't worry. We can't leave the little guy hanging. I have not eaten anything for 280 years. Well, in that case, I suppose you can wait a little bit longer. Hmm. You know what the problem is? We're still missing a coin. I don't think that's supposed to happen at this point of the game, so I'm gonna go look for it. Nope. We, uh... Totally cover this. Maybe right here? We already dug through this place and remember once again, 1B6. So where have I missed? Yep, this guy is still here. 6A4, okay. 1B6, 6A4. Remember those numbers. They're gonna turn out really important. Yes, I saw your chihuahua. Oh, there it is. Totally missed that. So, we got all 10 coins. And we are heading right back. Question, what do you do when you finally amass all the wealth you can possibly get? We're gonna go buy some hardcore drugs. Brought money? Aw, oh, I guess we can afford this. Yep, we can only afford a poker card. Well, when life deals with you, lemon! As a wise man said, you make combustible lemon and you burn his house down. If you didn't understand the reference, that's from Portal 2. One of the best games ever. Play it! And where the hell was it? Aha! Hey man, I got your card. I got your card. And now we have to place these five poker cards in the right order, and if you're feeling really confused, I'll give you a hint. The writing on the wall. That's right, I told you it would be important, and now we... What the hell, what was it again? 1B6, right? Uh, I 
think that's the case 1B684. Impossible! He cheated! It's nice to see some things never change. And while they're distracted, let's just get one of these delicious little... Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain what it is. And, but we're not doing this for ourselves. We got a poor guy who hasn't eaten in 280 years or something. We're gonna give this to him because we're a nice doggy. This is what I have been dreaming of. Give it to me. Oh boy. Everybody's so hungry in this level of hell. Lightning? Aw, you're safe now. I'm gonna deliver you back. Don't worry, you will be with your master in no time. Stop following me, bird! Stupid little bird. Hey, buddy! Cheer up! Look, look what I got you! Aww. Oh, that is the dog spirit. So I guess the path is cleared. Yep. We get to move on. And we are in a whole new place. Let's see what people have to say. This place is so familiar. I should have been here several times. Well, I guess if reincarnation is true, then you have. Where is he? Who is here? Well, I'm here, but I don't think you want to talk to me. After drinking this, I shall remember nothing. Well, yeah, that kind of is true, because what we're looking at here is supposedly in the afterlife, you drink this soup from this old lady and you will forget everything in this lifetime. So you will be ready for reincarnation. But my children will always remember me. This is the way to forget all the bad memories. Oh well. Probably. Even though I was a professor, you don't look nothing like professor, dude. No offense. All will be forgot after death. And look at this smiley old lady. She's just pure evil. And we get downstairs and we find... I guess this is supposed to be a girl. Oh, hi. Sorry, I can't really leave this place. I'm waiting here for my darling. I've already been waiting for 999 days. You might have passed several times without seeing me. I hope that this time if he passes, he'll think of me. Have you seen him? My lover has two strands of hair, a flat nose, and wears red clothes. That is a really <laughs> peculiar way to describe your lovers. It's almost like you know you're in the character. If you see him, please... Will you please give him this? You have a lot of faith in me, lady. But of course... He's one of these guys. Two strands of hair, huh? Could only be this. Who we'll gave you this flower? Can you take me to see him? Oh. I guess this is the lady? Or is that lady? Or, or are they gay? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Can't really tell. Oh, my dear, is it really you? Yep, they have been reunited. And as Taylor Swift said, it's a love story. Like all the best stories. Oh, and they're just... <laughs> Why are they grabbing for the soup? Why are they so eager to forget that this doesn't make any sense? And look at... 
They're so confused. What's happened? Well, I happened. I pretty much disrupted everything. Give me the soap right now! My god, people are really hungry. Guess I get to pass through without forgetting any everything. Hey, there's Granny! How come you are here? And she just moonwalked away. Nope, she doesn't want us to follow her. Go back! This is not where you should be. How come she remembers? She didn't drink the soup. Grandma has already. I can go farther. The text really rose too, fa too fast. You have not yet finished your journey. Your siblings are waiting for you at home. I have siblings. First time I heard about it. So uh, Grandma doesn't want us to die with her. I guess that's understandable. But we can still follow her. So this is where we have different endings. We either follow grandma in the afterlife, be reunited with her but die in real time, or we do as she says and go back to our real time morning. I guess we have to, we, we best do what she says. It's what she would want. Besides, if we have siblings, kind of have some responsibilities in real life. There and back again. And yes, that's... What you're seeing here is the end credits. This game clocks in about under half an hour. If you play this for the first time and gets confused somewhere, it will still be completed in under one hour. It's more like an ex art for experience rather than a full-fledged video game, but it's really pleasant and very unique. Obviously, the biggest drawback is the running time. That could turn a lot of people off, but I think it's worth it. It's not exactly expensive. You don't look li like a sibling to me. Hey, that's mine! Give it back. I'm gonna rip her throat open just to get the necklace back. Yep, there's the game. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.